But over the past two years, I've been competing in barebow archery. And one thing I've learned is that when I have an aiming reference that's close or right on whatever I'm aiming at, I am much, much more accurate. And that has led over into my pursuit for a hunting setup where I can have my point really close to where, wherever I need to aim on that deer. And just because of my draw length or my face structure and all that, I've had a really hard time getting a close point on distance. So, you know, it, without having to crawl way down the string, which be, it, it creates a lot of problems when you're trying to tune a hunting setup. Uh, so I wanted to keep my crawl as short as possible and get a really close point on. So I think I found the answer and it's these arrows right here. These are the gold tip traditional classic XCs. The, they are, this is a 340 spine, 12 grains per inch. And they come with a really heavy stainless steel insert as well as an outsert, which adds more weight. And then I'm running 150 grain point on top of that. My total arrow weight right here is 675 grains. And this is a 43 pound at 30 inch bow. So extremely heavy for a light draw weight bow, but this combination has given me a 25 yard point on with a very small crawl. You might not have to go to extreme lengths to get you know, a closer point on, but a heavy arrow, a longer arrow, as well as a crawl will definitely get you there. If I can do it, so can you. So. I know that that's uh, something that a lot of people struggle with. So go heavy, don't cut your arrows, and make, so make sure you're shooting a pretty stiff spine. And don't be afraid to crawl down the string. Even on a wood bow, I'm crawling about three eighths of an inch right here, and it's handling it just fine. Of course, I am using an elevated rest, which I think helps a little bit. But the real question is that when you're shooting, you know, a 700 grain arrow basically out of a 43 pound bow, what are your drops like? Are you gonna be missing deer low all the time? And for me right now, 15 to 20 yards, I'm aiming belly line of that deer, so I'm putting my point right in the armpit basically. 20 yards, I'm putting my point on the heart, and at 30 yards, I'm putting it mid body. And if I shoot my 20 yard, um, my 20 yard uh, aiming spot at 25 yards, that I'm going to miss low. But that's where a rangefinder comes in and really judging the difference between 20, 25, and 30 is not that hard. If you practice judging, judging inside of 30 yards within five yards is, it's not, it's not really that hard. Especially, again, if you're ranging areas around wherever you're hunting, it becomes much easier. So within five yards is really the margin of error that, uh, that I need to be worried about. And really most of my shots I'm taking are inside of 20 yards anyway. So it's not that big a deal for me. All right, so there you have it. There's four tens and eight from 21 yards. Uh, for me, having the point real close to where, I, where it needs to be makes me much, much more accurate. Just gives me, especially, we'll see, I mean, our season just opened up yesterday, so we'll see how this all this whole system works out in real life practice, and of course, I'll keep you guys updated. But I'm, I have high hopes for it. 
I'm taking this with me to Texas in a couple weeks and I'll definitely have some opportunities there to see not only how it performs on animals with penetration um, as well as you know noise and ducking the string and all that but as far as shooting you know with that point real close to the target under pressure I really look forward to keeping you guys updated on this project but I'm just so glad that I figured out a way to to get my point on distance really low and I hope something like this uh, works for anyone out there that is looking to do the same. Hey, sorry, I just wrapped up that video and I realized some of you might not know what a fixed crawl is. So I figured I would explain it very quickly. A fixed crawl is string walking, but with a, uh, like a third knocking point, more or less tied onto your bowstring. So you know where that crawl is every time and you're not varying the crawl. So like if you were shooting field archery with a bare bow and you were string walking, you would have a place where you held the string for 20 yards. You would have a place where you held it for 15, for 50 meters. Different crawls for different distances. A fixed crawl is one place where you're gripping the string and then you can, you're tying a knocking point on there so you know where it is every time. It works really well for hunting for that reason because you have that, that locator there it's easy to find really quickly, boom, I know where to grab the string. So that is a fixed crawl. So I'm holding the string below my knock somewhere, and you just work that out through trial and error, how far down the string you need to, need to go. For a bow like this, like a wooden bow that doesn't have adjustable tiller or anything, and I'm not really shooting off of a real elevated rest, um, I like to keep my crawls pretty short. But the bow will tell you how much of a crawl it can handle. It'll get really loud if you are crawling too much on it. Uh, but typically, less than half an inch below your knock is a good place to be. Uh, and the shorter, really, the better. So that is another key. Another thing I didn't mention was having a slightly higher knocking point. You know, between, I would say, between half inch and three quarters is usually a good place to be uh, when you're not only when you're using a fixed crawl but if you're trying to reduce your point on distance so yeah just a few quick tips to end this video